We're aboard the rocket traveling from a planet called Other Home. We're joined by two scientists, Dr. Green and Dr. Y, returning from a research expedition. They will answer some of our questions about how humanity evolved over the past millennium. This is Emmett Brown from Human History. Well, hello Earth! I'm Dr. Green. And I'm Dr. Y. And we are here today to tell you something about the Earth's past. You see, history defines us. It gives us identity. We are here because of the past. So today, we will remember the scientific discoveries that guided us to where we are. We are the part of the greener civilization and should be proud of that. It wasn't easy, but it paid off. The video of how we created a better Earth is a good material for younger generations. So we will learn why our Earth is healthier today, about food, house designs, light energy, inventions, medicines, wastewater treatment plants, etc. So we prepared some sketches for you for easier perception. Our traveling is something that changed drastically. On longer distances, we are now traveling by high-speed trains. Their name, Maglo, comes from magnetic levitation, which they use to move without touching the ground. Their technology is cleaner for the environment and it allows big mass of people to travel. Maglovs move at speed 500 km per hour, that way we can work at distant cities even in other countries. Around cities we travel by hoverboards that also use magnetic levitation. They look like skateboards but without wheels. Another option is wooden bicycles. They are used more common because they don't need magnetic roads like hoverboards. They are made from recycled wood. Other vehicles are not allowed in city areas. Even though we reduced car use, we still have them, and roads with safety fences, but they are much different today. Cars run on methane, which we get from decomposing biological rubbish and animal manure. Safety fences are actually epiphytes with very strong roots that grow high above the ground. During the day, the plants use carbon dioxide and water, which they get from the chemical reaction between methane and oxygen. They use the components for photosynthesis. In the nighttime, blossoms start to glow like fireflies, that way no road lighting is needed. Street lighting also uses clean energy. Old-fashioned lamps that contributed a lot to air pollution are no longer used. They have been replaced by above epiphytes that glow in the dark. In this case, they use carbon dioxide and water from air. They produce enough light to illuminate streets without other sources. They are spread commonly on buildings, too. Flowers that are beautiful components by day and light sources by night are not only used on buildings but inside of them too. You can choose between various types because the interior of your home can be adapted to the plants you want. They grow on walls, that's why they are called hanging gardens. In the past, people set records who would build a higher building. Today is the other way around. Architects are very closely connected to scientists and ecologists. Together they design small green homes for one to three families which are made out of natural materials and lightened up by glowing epiphytes. They designed different types of houses depending on the materials that are found in a close area around the house. For example, if you want a willow wooden house, you ask for a part of forest and you cut down the trees you need. Then you build it on the same spot. The same process applies to building houses with rock and clay. All houses have their roof transformed into a garden. It is meant for growing vegetables, fruits, flowers, trees, anything you want and need for yourself. As you see, humans and nature are much more closely connected today, but people are also much more connected with each other. Cities are smaller and their population is limited. They are very well connected with their agricultural outskirts that provide them food. Villages and horses, cities with hoverboards and wooden bikes. Today, they form a close network that engages in a symbiotic relationship. As said, agricultural outskirts provide food. Today's motto is live green, return to nature. That's exactly what we are doing. Genetically modified foods are forbidden by law after the catastrophe that struck 200 years ago and caused deaths by poisoning with genetically modified fruits, we began to appreciate natural products. And we appreciate clean water too. Wastewater treatment plants today look like microzoos. Small animals and waste-eating bacteria have a lot of fun decomposing threatening substances. After cleaning, water is led back to the water distribution system. 
If we took a step back in means of transport, we took a great step forward in medicine. We developed robot doctors called nanobots. They are so small that one teaspoon contains billions of them. They live inside of us and fight viruses and bacteria. That's where the phrase to swallow your doctor comes from. Alternative medicine is no longer the dark magic in pharmacy. All sorts of roots, leaves, berries, blossoms and seeds are packed in pills that can cure anything, from cold to cancer. Nature really is the best doctor. And how much we did to restore it. The scientists made the research about a forest link. In the year 2015, lots of fallen trees were not substituted by new ones. Forests started to shrink. Today you have to plant a tree every time you cut one down. Forests began to expand and restore. Ecosystems that formed are now left alone by humans. The only time we step in is when diseases, bacteria or viruses start to expand. Slovenia returned to being the country with huge forests, beautiful nature and joyful people. The word love now rightly belongs to its name. The result of our effort is seen in many ways. We reduced greenhouse effect by reducing carbon dioxide emission in atmosphere and reduced water pollution with living wastewater plants. The share of forests is rising from year to year, thanks to a foresting, and farmland areas also increased. We wanted to keep the earth safe and sound, so we had to reduce population. We started to search for another planet for people to live on. We found one very similar to earth, a little warmer, in a solar system that is accessible in a brief month. A part of population moved there in 50 years. The planet is called other home, because that's what it is another chance and a new beginning. People there live in peace and tranquility. That's where Dr. Y and I are coming from. We are very fond of our blue marble that we haven't seen in months. We cherish it even more than we would if we wouldn't know how much effort was put in fixing the terrible mistakes. You, you should, should cherish, cherish it too and take care of our planet. planet.